Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss multi-process programming with process system calls. So what is a system call? So in general, see, a system call is a mechanism that uh, provides interface between the process and the operating systems. So it is a method which a computer program requests a service from the kernel of the operating systems. So system call offers the service of the operating system to the user program. So and the system call is the entry point for the kernel systems. In general, there's a five types of system calls. Process control system call, file management system call, device management system call, information maintenance system call, and communications system calls. In this short video, we are going to, the example we are going to use is this short video is using the fork system call to generate a process of a parent and the child process, which create a multi-process program. Here on the Linux, I have a very, very simple, basic, classical, hello world, C++ program. I have a few include the header files and the main functions and we print the hello world. So in this program, when the, if we run, make, and we compile this, and we run this, you can see we print hello world. So we see it in this short video, we are going to discuss the, the example we are going to use is the fork system call. So in this program, if we just make a fork system call, and what will happen? So let's just save this. Uh, and go to other terminal. And make. And we run this. So you can see the hello world has been printed twice. But here in the program, we only have one line of print hello world. So why? Because the fork system call create a so the fork system call to create a process that are copy themselves with the help of this system call parent process create a child process and the execution of a parent process will be suspended till the child process process executed. So in this case, the fork system call create a process, a child process. So in this case, so the printing hello world been printed twice because of this fox system call. So this fox system call has the return code. If it returned at zero, it means it's a child system call. Otherwise, it's the parent system. So if this equals zero, Child else is 
execute the parent process. So now let's see. Building child process and the executing parents parent process. So now if they save this. Let's recompile. You can see we if the fox returns a zero, it's executing child process, and executing otherwise executing parent process. So how do we know? Questions right now is how do we know these two are two process, not the same processing says. So let's try to prove this we are going to use in the once we just printed the process ID so we are using create PID function to print the process ID so same thing we did for And uh, we're going to get PID. So if they're in the same process, not two process, we're going to be two printing line will be same process ID. Otherwise, they're going to be parents, child. So parent process ID should be the first, child process ID should be after. So let's save this and uh, go to this square. Let's compile and uh, run. So you can see now with the first executing is a parent process. ID is 7603. Second executing is a printing is the child process which ID is 7604. So this is 7603 is a parent, 7604 is the child. So you see it's a parent executing first, child executing after. So it might be the other way, you know. So because this is a parallel, so process, two process executing themselves. So in order to make a dependence, like a, and the child finish first finish, then execute the parents. So how to do that? So we have to first, in the child process, we are going to make it exist, because the process finish exist. And in the parent, we have to use in the waiting, the child finish. So we are going to use it. PIDT child PID we create a variable equal we use in the waiting system call we don't give a particular waiting number so in this case this CPID will be the same PID as we print as child so now let's try to put this in the printing so now it's a Now the process ID is and what it is CPID. So now let's say if 
Okay, save this. Let's go to make, recompile this. So now you can see the difference. Before, the parent process executing first, child process executing after. Right now, the child process printing first, and the parent process is waiting, child finish, and then execute. So the parent process ID is 7624, and the child process ID is 7625. So when, when the child finish, uh, the CPID is 7625. So we create a pro two process, and there's a dependence, the parent, waiting child finished. We can also create a tool process executing their, themselves. In this way, we just using the fork system call to create a multi-processing program. We can also make more than two process in our program. It's very useful for Unix, Unix programming Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful and enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.